Hello everyone. So many of you have requested me to put up a video on this very important concept used in competitive exams that is the concept of time and work. Uh, one of the most feared concepts in uh, numerical ability questions wherein you need little bit of understanding to solve these problems. So I will be teaching this concept in two parts. The part one will deal with very simple two types of problems uh, concerning with time and work and part two we will deal with some complex problems on this concept. So let me take two examples for this part. The first example is a very basic example through which you can understand what these questions are all about. Now uh, this question suppose we have two persons A and B. Now, in the question you are given that if A does a work alone, he can complete the work, say we are given number of days or it can be number of hours also. So here in this case it is number of days. So it is given that A can complete the work in 8 days if he does it alone. Now if B does the same work alone, he takes little bit longer say 10 days to complete the work. Now they work together. Now we have to find how many days will they take if they work together. So we have to find the question is if they work together, if they work together, how many days will they take? Now so many books are there of numerical ability in which you will find the reciprocal rule for solving this question. Obviously it is the base, base of these questions but I have a very small step through which you can find the answer to this problem in a matter of just two seconds. Yes, in a matter of just two seconds that too not by applying the rule of reciprocal or the rule of flip uh, as it is called. So now for solving this you just need to remember the type of this question, there are two persons who are who, uh, whose individual times are given and we have to find how many days will they take if they work together. So this is a particular type of question and this rule can be applied only to this, this type of question. I will take another type subsequent to this question. So the direct solution for this is to find the number of days when they work together is just to find the product of the individual number of days and divide it by the sum of the individual number of days. That is all. A very very simple concept, very simple shortcut and you get the answer. See the product here 8 into 10 and the sum here 8 plus 10. This, is, this will give you 80 upon 18 which when you cut by uh, 2 it will give you 40 upon 9 and when you convert it into a mixed fraction it will give you 4, 4, 9, 4 are 36 and remainder 4 and divisor 9, 4, 4 by 9 days is your answer. No high concepts, no big concepts, no simplifications, no remembering the rules of reciprocal rule and uh, the rule of flip. Just remember the one concept when they work together the number of days will be the product of the individual number of days divided by the sum of the individual number of days and that gives you the answer. So this is the first type of question. Now the second type of question, now <coughs> we will take A and B they are working together. Now if they work together they are taking 6 hours to do a work. Now one of them say we will take A, if he works alone obviously he will take longer time because if they are working together they are taking 6 hours so if A works alone he will take longer time I will take this time as 10 hours now we have to find if B works alone how much time does he take now we have to find the time taken by B when he works alone now for this also People will use the traditional method here also the rule of flip if A is working alone for 10 hours then 1 hour work is 1 by 10 
if d is taking x hours, then one hour work is one by x. Then if they are working together, then one by ten plus one by x. They are doing the work in six hours. So again, rule of uh, the reciprocal rule one by six. Then they have to solve this and find the answer. Now this is the traditional method through which if you solve this and you are really good in calculations and uh, you can do the calculations fast, you will take say 30 seconds to solve this. But through this method which I am going to tell you, you can solve this question in a matter of 3 seconds only. So yes, 3 seconds only. So now here you, have, you are required to find the time taken by B. Now when the combined time is given and time taken by one of them is given, the time taken by the other person is found out by taking the product of the, the two times, given times and dividing it by the difference. Remember, when we are given individual times, we divide it by sum. When we are given time of one of the persons and the combined time, then we divide it by the difference. So here the product is 10 into 6 and the difference is 10 minus 6. So your simple result is 60 upon 4, that is 15 hours. In competitive exams, you need these types of formulas for remembering a particular type of question. So you need to know what type of question is this and accordingly you need to apply the rule for that. If you remember the right rule, you will take just 3 seconds to solve this and all these calculations which I have written on board also they can be done mentally if you know the basic rules of mental maths. So students just practice these two concepts and wait for my second part of this time and work concept in which I will take some higher problems, some complex problems to solve those problems in a matter of 10 seconds only. So till then keep sharing, keep learning and subscribe the channel if you like it.